MIG brazing, or silicone bronze welding, as it's sometimes referred to, is different in a number of ways from conventional MIG steel or aluminum welding. Conventional MIG steel welding wire melts at approximately 1600 degrees Celsius or 2800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to fuse with the base material. MIG braze wire melts at approximately 1000 degrees Celsius or 1900 degrees Fahrenheit and flows along the weld joint without actually melting or fusing the base material. This low melt temperature reduces the heat affected zone, panel distortion, and the amount of zinc that's burned away on corrosion protected panels. The welder for this demonstration is the AMH Ultramig 225. The setup for MIG brazing is as follows. Turn the unit on, select MIG, type of welding wire, copper, mode of welding, continuous, select wire size, 0.6. Both current and wire speed are controlled together by the welder and adjusted by this knob on the MIG gun. The wire is a copper silicone alloy. The gas is an argon helium mix. The MIG braze process acts like an adhesive and not at all like conventional brazing where the base material is heated and the brass is flowed onto it. A MIG braze weld resembles a MIG steel weld but with a higher build. The reason for this is that the copper wire is only flowing over the top of the surface and not melting into the base material. With this in mind, the urge to increase current settings in order to flatten out the bead must be avoided. With its lower melting temperature and smaller heat affected zone, MIG braze could replace MIG steel welding in many automotive repair applications in the very near future.